Recent video and photos from Ukraine show Russian troops getting to grips with the 2B25 82mm mortar. About 10 months ago before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, I did a video looking at the 2B25 and how it combines a spigot mortar with ammunition which uses a self-contained captive piston. So for a full rundown on the operation and the mortar's development history, check out that earlier video. But today we'll take a look at its appearance in Ukraine. The first mention of the 2B25 being in use with Russian forces in Ukraine dates to early July, when RIA News, a Russian state-owned news agency, published an article with scant details other than to suggest, quote, that these mortars are being used to carry out sudden fire raids, in particular in the fight against saboteurs of the armed forces of Ukraine. Despite this report, we haven't seen any imagery showing the weapon in theatre until recently. In late October, imagery showing the 2B25 began to be shared by a member of what appears to be a Russian special operations unit. One of the members of a unit runs a telegram channel. The soldier who runs the channel describes himself as a regular soldier of the armed forces of the Russian Federation for more than 10 years. On October 27th, a POV video was shared from behind a 2B25 with the caption, machine translated as, we got acquainted with a silent mortar, mastered it ourselves, and showed the mobilized guys. A minimum of recoil, a minimum of powder gases, and the sound of a round being fired. The 8th of November saw the unit share a photo of the mortar being fired without a base plate, instead using a wooden box as an ad hoc base. In the comments section of the image, the soldier running the channel explained the wooden box was being used by design, perhaps indicating intentional experimentation with using the mortar without a base plate. In another comment he explained, no, they checked whether it was possible to shoot without sinking into the ground. As a result, the box fell apart. In another response, he notes that they were trying to avoid placing the base plate in the wet ground. When asked how loud the mortar is, the Russian soldier described it as, it is silent, the exit of the bomb is not louder than a clap of hands. A photo posted on the 26th of November showed the Russian soldier with perhaps 10 of the two B-25s, three VO-35 mortar bombs laid out on the ground. A few days later, on the 30th, a clip showing the mortar being prepared alongside a commercial drone was posted, suggesting training to correct full of shot with the drone. The longest video posted so far shows the mortar in action. Shared on the 2nd of December, the video shows the mortar dug into the ground, with the operator firing three bombs in quick succession. Several seconds later, we can hear them detonate that range. Again, the video appears to show training rather than actual operations. The machine translated caption describes a test with the 2B25 with operators showing they could correct their fire with the drone, noting, the accuracy and density of fire on the intended target increased significantly. The bombs hit the target one by one. In the footage, it's unclear if the base plate has been buried below the turf or the mortar doesn't have a base plate attached at all as in the earlier photograph with the wooden box. Noticeably, on the third and final round, the mortar moves significantly, appearing to push the tube down further into the earth, perhaps again suggesting that there is no base plate attached to the mortar. And finally, on the 3rd of December, a short clip with the caption, another short video from our training, was shared showing the mortar being laid. Thanks to Patrick Semft for sharing the first video of the 2B25 in Ukraine, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to go and check out my earlier video on the 2B25 for more on its operation and history. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, share the videos with friends, and you can also support us via Patreon or YouTube memberships, where you'll get early access to all of our videos, as well as some other perks as well. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.